Hey guys, Johnny here. Here's your event guide for the Toguza's survey event in COD Mobile Season 7. This is part 1 and I don't know if I'll make a part 2. If I see the final missions are complicated, I'll do another part. But this is part 1 to explain the guide and the first couple NPC missions. Because I know some guys got stuck on the first mission, so I want to explain. But first, like the basics of the event is... Something like we had in the past, you just play the game to collect these like data defender It's like the currency of the event. So this you need to unlock the nodes and you need more and more. I think you only needed one or something to get the first node and then node number two you needed more. I don't remember five, ten and then more and more and more. And when you get to the end, you'll need a hundred and then two hundred and then three hundred. So it's gonna be a long grind. I played like four hours today and I got like half of the event, but you know it's not the half because it's getting more, more expensive. But anyways, to get these data defenders, you just need to play the game. You play multiplayer, you play battle royale, you will get at the end of each game. But they say specifically in this event you get more by playing battle royale you will get some by playing multiplayer but it's gonna be much slower if you just grind multiplayer uh so this is the start like you just play you get these data defenders and then you unlock the nodes you unlock the nodes you unlock the nodes these are the round ones but once you get to the diamond ones these like server node 5 and then seven and then nine they are npc mission the first one i think was the more complicated because we didn't know what was going on and it's not clear also they say talk to the npc in the game very very confusing at the start so the first one is just the cleanup program you need to find uh like they call terminals and they're everywhere on the map and isolated and they say uh, battle royale isolated this npc missions and the other ones you, ha you have to do on isolated the rest you can collect by playing other maps if you want so the first node server node 5 what you have to do is find one of these terminals and hack it or unhack it and that's all you don't need to go find toguza or talk to toguza he's not there you won't find him well maybe he is but it's not part of the mission so i want to show you what you're looking for the first thing i want to say is every main location of isolated like overgrown kill house practice range you will find these terminals that you're looking for if you want it easy just go to sanitarium they're just easy to find i found one at black market i found some at practice range and countdown now whenever you get to one of the main buildings in the area you will find these they will show you where to go they will have these little markers pop on your screen to show that there's a terminal there so you see on sanitarium they have two and i've seen two at other locations also so they're not that hard to find once you're close, but if you don't know where to look, they don't appear at a long distance. So once you get to the marker location, you will see these terminals or these laptop. It says hack purge. So find this and then click to unhack or whatever. And it says mission complete. That's all. That's all you had to do there. You don't need to go talk to someone or anything. So just finish the game. And that will be it. You'll see on the end screen after the game, even if you don't win, you get data defenders, but at the end, you will get that cleanup program thing. So that's what you need for these NPC missions. And the next missions will be different. So that was the first one. And now you know what to do. So after that one, you'll need to collect like, I think 30 more. So you need to play a lot of BR. That's why I say, once you get your mission done, don't just kill yourself to end it. Just keep playing because you'll need the extra data uh, defender stuff. Like you'll need so many anyways. So just don't just end the game after you get what you needed. The next one is a bit easier because they show on the minimap right at the start. You need to go talk to Tashikoma and then you need to drive 1000 meters. So now you see at the start when you start this mission, you will see on your minimap four locations 
with a question mark. These are the four locations where you can find Tashikoma, the little ATV, the blue vehicle. So I went for that one at Circus, just go to wherever you want. And you maybe found him earlier because it's already there on the map. You will see it, but you cannot drive it if you're not at that mission. They will say leave it alone. But once you reach that mission, you can talk to him and accept the mission. And that's it. You need to drive 1000 meters to collect data. So you will enter the vehicle just like you drive any vehicle and just drive you see the counter go 1000 meters it's not that much so just drive a thousand meters just get rid of it right now and that's it you don't need to go talk to anyone after it you just need to finish the game and that mission is complete after that i think you need to collect another 30 or maybe 50 i don't remember and then you get to the third NPC mission. Now for that mission, you need to go talk to Batu and there's only one location. He's at the black market, not so hard to find. He's where you can spawn the vehicles. And you can also see at black market, there's more of these like terminals. They're everywhere, guys. You're gonna find them as you play. But yeah, for Batu, just follow the blue marker and you will find him right there at the bottom in the corner. So you have to go talk to him and he's gonna give you a mission. He wants you to collect, I think 20 shotgun shells and 20 sniper ammo. So accept the mission and just look around in the area, walk around a little bit in black market, try to find ammo on the ground. It didn't take me that long. There's ammo everywhere. So get the ammo and then go back and you have to talk to him again to turn in the mission. So that's where I am right now. And now it's gonna be collecting 50 more and then you're gonna have another NPC mission there. Like I said, I'm not there yet, but advanced driving data for Tashikoma. So I think it's gonna be another driving mission uh, like we had on the second mission. I guess you're gonna have to go talk to Tashikoma again and drive maybe more. And then it's gonna be more collecting like 100, 200, 300. And I think we have a final uh, NPC mission there at the end. So like I said, I will finish the event this week. And if I see something complicated on the final, I might do a part two for the event. But I think you guys have all you need right now to get started at least. And then you have a lot of grind to do this weekend to collect like about five, 600 plus of these uh, data, whatever it's called, data defender. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of br you have to play guys but that's it for now uh there's another thing i might want to talk about real quick is if I'm you dust. click uh on the bottom left you have uh like the hologram at the bottom so in there there's the intel about the new prosthetic weapons uh you have a training for all four so you kind of have to click all four one by one and they explain what they do and then you need to use all of them one by one it's one per game so you can shoot NPCs or hack these terminals. You're gonna get these triangles that you can use in the blue terminals on the map. You can try them guys. There's like four new upgrades you can use. I'll do another video later on that. But if you use all four, it's gonna give you a calling card. So I don't think this is really part of the event. I'm not sure you really need to know that right now. I'm pretty sure you can just start grinding and do everything without knowing all about these upgrades so yeah more later on that but get started start grinding play a lot of br to get these tokens that's it for now if i forgot something just ask in the comments so that's it for now hope the guide was helpful smash like if it was subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next one